Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to the Jada and Stitches show. Today we've got a cute little variation on a pattern we have a tutorial for that we did a little while ago. It's our little heart coaster or applique and today we're going to show you how to turn it into this really cute little purse. Now depending on the size of the yarn and the size of the hook you use, you can make your purse this size, which is gift bag size, like I'm making. You can make it purse sized if you use a bulky blanket weight yarn and an eight millimeter hook, which is really cute as an accessory for a Valentine's Day outing. Or you can make it super small with a lightweight yarn and a smaller hook, just big enough for a little piece of jewelry. You're going to want to make two of our little heart coasters, and we will link to that original tutorial in the description box down below, and also the pinned comment. That's what the thumbnail looks like. And you're going to want to make two. You can use any colors you want. I'll show you the colors that I'm using here in the tutorial. I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook, so nice gift bag size. And today we're going to join it together. We're going to add a little strap and you'll be all set for Valentine's Day. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, make a couple of little hearts and we'll stitch it up together. In order to make our little heart bag, you're going to want to start with two of our little heart coasters. We've got a tutorial for this and we'll link it in the description box and the pinned comment. So you're going to want to make two of these. Uh, for this particular project, I'm using a size 4 medium weight yarn. It's an acrylic and you're going to want 30 yards per color or 60 yards in total. And that covers both of your hearts, the joining and the strap. I used bright red for my heart, a little bit of a pink for the border, and I'm going to use the same border color to join my hearts together and make the strap. You're going to want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, some clips or a stitch marker might be helpful for this project, and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook, also known as an I or a 9, but whatever you're using for your hearts, use the same hook to join them together. So if you have a slightly lighter weight yarn and you used a smaller hook, Continue with the same hook to join them together. Same thing goes if you used a larger weight yarn and a larger hook. Use the same hook to join them together and make the strap. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. We're going to start by taking our two hearts Deciding which side we like as the right side. I like the side that has all of the stitching facing forward on it. So that's the wrong side or the inside of the heart. And this is the right side or the front facing part. And we're going to take both those right sides, make sure they're facing out. So if you flip your heart over, it's the right side facing out. And we're going to find the middle three single crochet together stitch. So that's the three single crochet together that happens right in the middle and that's technically the top of the stitch over here. So I'm going to mark that with a little stitch marker. So that's the top of the other single crochet three stitches together. Now I put them together again right sides facing out. This is helpful to mark both because when they're sitting um, basically mirror images of each other the tops of your stitches are going to go Lean to the right if you're working right-handed on the one facing you and the one facing the other direction, the tops of the stitches are all going to be leaning to the left. If you're working left-handed, that'll be the reverse, but it's just helpful to kind of know where you're starting from. So from this side, I'm going to count seven stitches away from the marked stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's number seven. I'm just going to mark that with my yarn needle. I'm going to keep the wrong side of this one facing me and I'm going to find the marked stitch and count seven away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, going in the same direction. So I'm going to just slip my needle through there. So that's me marking both the seventh stitch away from the center stitch on my heart. That's where I know to join my yarn. We're going to join with a single crochet and that's where we're going to start to join our hearts together. So I'm going to grab my yarn now. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook pick up my two hearts. I'm going to take my needle out and I'm going to put my hook in. And I'll just get my needle out of the way. So those were the two marked stitches. They're seven stitches away from the marked center stitch and I'm going to be joining the hearts together by single crocheting through each set of stitches all the way around. So here we go. You should have your slip knot on 
the sort of the working part of your hook, we're going to join with a single crochet. So we're going to pick up a loop through both of those stitches and single crochet. So that's joining with a single crochet. And now we're going to single crochet through each set of the next 15 stitches. So if it helps to put your hook through each stitch individually before you single crochet, go ahead. So there's the first one. I reach over, make sure, can I actually just slip my little tail to the inside? Make sure I'm getting the next stitch along because I don't want to miss any. And then if you're comfortable just keeping them squeezed together because you know what you're looking for, you're just going to single crochet through each set of stitches And you're going to do that until you get down to the bottom middle stitch down here. So it's 15 stitches away from the stitch that you joined with a single crochet in. Or if you're comfortable looking at it, you find that three double crochet, or I should say three half double crochet in the bottom of that heart, you're looking for the very middle stitch. And remember, if you're working right-handed, the top of that stitch sits to the right. If you're working left-handed, the top of that stitch will sit to the left. So single crochet through each set of stitches and I'll hook up with you at the bottom. When you get to that bottom middle point, you're just going to single crochet three times in that same set of stitches. So if you're starting to lose count or you're not sure if you have got to the very bottom point, just eyeball it. This doesn't have to be perfect. So just find the most middle looking part of your hearts and work three single crochet into the bottom point. And that just helps us kind of turn the corner and keep going. Now you're going to single crochet through each set of stitches all the way back around until you get to the seventh stitch away from the marked stitch, the marked middle stitch on the other side, or 16 sets of stitches away from the bottom point. But again, you should still have your middle stitches marked you can count seven away, and that'll be the one that you end on. So that's a single crochet through the 16th set of stitches, 16 away from that bottom stitch where we worked three single crochet, or if you count away from your marked stitch, it'll be the seventh set away from the marked stitch. So you've got a marked stitch and six open stitches a marked stitch, six open stitches, and that'll be the same on both sides. So now you can remove your little markers. We're just going to fill in across the top of both sides of our heart now, just so that that nice little join border is even across both sides. So this is what we're going to do. We are now only working through one heart, so we're no longer working through both. We've completely joined it. We've got a sweet little pocket now. Into the next three stitches, we're going to single crochet twice. So two single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Single crochet once into the next two stitches. We're going to single crochet three stitches together across the middle. And I like to keep that nice and tight, as tight as possible. So you pick up a loop in all three of those stitches, yarn over, pull back through all four loops on your hook. We're going to single crochet once in each of the next two stitches and single crochet twice in each of the next three stitches. So we're mirroring what we did on the other side of what was the marked stitch in the middle. And that is going to fill in the top of our little heart. We're going to join by slip stitching to the top of that single crochet that we began with. Now we're going to turn our heart and we're going to do the exact same thing across the other side. So no stitching, no chaining, we're just slip stitched to kind of join our yarn to the top of that stitch. We're going to turn. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, a middle stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that stitch is accounted for. So we're going to do exactly the same thing along the other side. Two single crochet into each of the next three stitches.
single crochet into each of the next two stitches only once. So two, 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 one, one. Single crochet three together across the middle. So you pick up a loop in those three stitches, yarn over, pull back through all four loops on your hook, and then the reverse. Single crochet once into each of the next two stitches, and two single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And if you've got an extra stitch there, or you've, you're just not sure what things look like, it looks a little funny to you, don't worry. You're just going to skip anything that happens to be left, and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the stitch that was the last join stitch. So anywhere that looks nice and even to you. And then on both sides, your heart is got a nice even border all the way around. Right? We've got a nice little open pouchy area to sort of put our little treats in. And now all we have to do is add a strap. We're not fastening off. We're actually going to use the foundation single crochet method for our strap. If you've never used the foundation single crochet stitch method before, I'm going to walk through it here with you. But we also have a rather in-depth tutorial on just this stitch. We'll link that in the description box and the pinned comment down below as well if you want a little extra help. In order to create the foundation single crochet, we're actually creating the running chain or the foundation chains and the single crochets at the same time. So we're going to chain one to begin, and we're going to start our foundation single crochet actually in the stitch that we left. So the stitch that you've just chained away from, you're going to reach back into it and pull up a loop. And here's where the magic happens. We yarn over, pull back through the first loop only. That creates the foundation chain. Yarn over, pull back through the two loops on your hook. That creates the single crochet. Let's do that again. If you get lost, you look at your last stitch, you should see two little loops sitting nice and neatly up against your hook with the yarn coming out, and what looks like a little P underneath it. That's the foundation chain. See that little P shape there? You're going to slip your hook underneath the P part, because you want to get two loops running over top of your hook. That's the majority of the foundation chain. That's what you want sitting on top of your hook. Pick up a loop. And now we create the foundation chain, yarn over, pull back through the first loop, and the single crochet, yarn over, pull back through two loops. Foundation, single crochet. Let's do that again. That's the stitch. There's the little foundation chain just to the below it. Slip your hook through it so that you have two parts, two loops sitting on top of your hook, and pick up a loop. And then we yarn over, create the foundation chain, Yarn over, create the foundation single crochet. Really easy to count. You just look at the top. So there's your chain one that we came away from our little purse with. And there's one, two, three. Those are your three foundation single crochets. And you have this really nice chain stitch running along the other side. Let's do a couple more. So there's the actual stitch, those two loops reach down and underneath the two loops of that running chain. You can see them both sitting there. Pick up a loop, yarn over, foundation chain, yarn over, foundation single crochet. And again, pick up both those loops on top of your hook. Pick up a loop, yarn over, foundation chain, yarn over, foundation single crochet. Okay, so what we're doing is we're creating a little strap. 29 or 30 will probably be just enough to create a nice size or a nice length little strap, but you can make your strap as long as you want or as short as you want just by increasing or decreasing the number of foundation single crochets you do. So I'm going to leave that up to you. There is no exact number of foundation single crochets that you need to do. Try to remember to keep your work eh, loose. We don't want tight tension here. This does create a nice little kind of, has a bit of a stretch to it. So no rush. Take your time. Work as many foundation single crochets as you want. And I'll see you when you're ready to join your strap.
I've made 30 foundation single crochets and I feel like that's long enough. This does have some stretch to it and of course your tension might vary a little bit as you work through that stitch so you can always take a moment to just go back and gently pull on some of the stitches. It'll help kind of even them all out if you've got what you feel like are some tight and some loose. You want to make sure you haven't um, spun the whole thing around on yourself so go back to the beginning start running the strap through your fingers so that you know you've got the single crochets facing you or the tops of the single crochets and here I am here so now I know that I haven't haven't spun it around on myself and then what we're going to do is join with a slip stitch on the other side of our little heart so we left here, we're going to find the same single crochet um, that we kind of left or crossed through down here. So that's the single crochet that we joined our yarn with originally. We're just going to slip stitch to join, so absolutely nothing fancy. You can join it wherever you feel it looks balanced and even. I like it to, to sort of start and end on either edge get my fingers out of the way here, either edge of the open mouth part of the little bag. So I feel like that looks nice and even. Then you can snip your yarn, fasten off, and take a moment to weave in that end and any other ends you might have. And I recommend you pull it down into the bag. So I'm going to just grab that end, pull it to the inside, and you see I've got a couple of them in here. And I'm going to weave my tails in along the inside of my purse or my little bag. Just so nothing shows on the outside. Once your ends are all woven in, all that's left to do is to just sort of lightly block it with your hands into that perfect little heart shape. And again, you can sort of stretch out your little foundation chain row or foundation single crochet strap just to get all of those little stitches to even out. And maybe if you've got a little bit of bu buckling or a little bit of wiggling, just squeeze it into shape. And there you go, one adorable little heart purse. Makes a nice little gift bag, and of course, if you use thicker yarn and a bigger hook, you'll get a larger little purse. If you use much smaller weight yarn and a smaller hook, you'll get something small enough for a little ring or a little piece of jewelry or maybe even a single candy. Have fun with variations on our little heart bag. And there you go, another fun use for that original little heart applique or coaster pattern. I love patterns that have multiple uses, and I think this just makes the cutest little gift bag, and I'm definitely going to make myself a slightly larger one to use as a little accessory for when I go out on the town next for Valentine's Day. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed making that along with us this week, and we will see you soon here on the Jada and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye! Hi everyone, this is Mama and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you, have a wonderful day.